Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Puzzling Places Overview. Well, yet another side quest success story. It was quite a while that I saw the first time this product. I was scheduled to try it out, but somehow I postponed it to Infinity that it end up on the official store now. I don't think we see frequently like puzzle games transferring, because the only one I remember was Hand Physics Lab, so pretty cool that we're now getting it because it is one of the kind. So Puzzling Places is a jigsaw with 3D puzzle experience, with a premise that you have a concrete set of pieces that you connect by the edges to create some sort of a real-life model whether it is a monument, landscape or any kind of environment. This project on its first glance should transfer to VR pretty well because it uses 3D space essentially to move around and build the puzzle like you're actually recreating a landmark with your own hands. Normally in real life you would do like a 2D thing, sometimes even lose pieces and just ruin the whole fun of it because you're missing a piece. But like in VR it's not even possible and on top of that you're doing something 3D which would be extremely hard to do if not for this technology. It's a pretty simple concept but I believe it's gonna be executed very well. Sometimes you don't need to go for the hardest things for your project to succeed. And with that I see even further potential. Imagine for example exporting something like a picture or a 3D model that you created in some program on PC. Then for example the game would be able to generate automatically the pieces for it. And then from scratch you'll be able to rebuild it piece by piece. Like that seems cool to me. Though we still have to remember it is an indie project so we have to be aware of the limitations of the development developers, but I'm just throwing an idea here. It's gonna be a calm experience, very chill and subdued. It's good to have things like that every once in a while, so I'm looking forward to be relaxed. <laughs> and I'm hoping there are some Paris puzzles because then it's gonna be extremely easy for me. Let's go build something. Join the pieces to start. Cute intro. So, what do we have here? Everything is cute, so I'm assuming it's not like downloaded because the application by itself was really light. First of all, settings as always. 360 puzzle piece shelf, minimalistic environment. We can move either by joystick or grip buttons. And 90 hertz. Okay, pretty standard stuff. I did mention I wanted something in France, and it seems like we have four things. The Mont Saint Michel. Oh, that's fun. We can select number of pieces. So We'll do maybe like two three puzzles each rising in difficulty just to see how the game scales up with difficulty mm -hmm. so we have like kind of pinpoints how it should look like it's like a castle chapel thing on the mountain with forest it's like in a circle okay so we have to find kind of pieces that look similar to each other and then conjoin them maybe starting with the coast is actually a better idea it's good that you have those circles like in puzzle pieces literally ah here we go I hear some voices. It's harder than I expected, <laughs> even for 25. I think it's better to just set one piece outside of the mess that I created then. I'm not gonna be like, confused. Yeah, see? That's the piece that I needed, but I was just searching for it. New sounds when you conjoin something. Okay, yeah, that was a good idea to just go with the coast. Wait, what's this? Ah, it's like a grouping tool. Colors? Ah, the environment. And last coast. Okay, now it should be way easier. It's fine that we see as well like shadows and stuff. It's easier to like indicate what goes where. Like that's a big tip. I hear people when I close into the buildings, but then when I go here, more sea and stuff. It's not like by accident you'll guess what piece goes there. It kinda clicks in the place, but you really have to go by intuition with the shape like here. It's not gonna completely guide you. There's a little bit shadow here, so it means it should be somewhere here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and it's not like this is low quality, this is actually a very high end picture or like a model. Very much detailed, even with the trees and stuff. I didn't need those pictures for guidances, but it definitely helps if I didn't know beforehand what sun is. I guess maybe do something like indoors. This corridor seems like a nightmare with pictures, but I think this billiards room should be fun. 50 pieces. There's billiards in the middle of the room. Then we have windows on the side, picture on the wall, and that looks like from up. This is the most helpful thing. So let's start with windows, I think, right? This is like the most characteristic thing about the room. This is like on the side. It's always the hardest, I'm assuming, to just start and then it flows by itself. Okay, so that's one. Is it here? Okay, so it's like that. I'll stick with this piece maybe, so I need chairs. Oh yeah, there's a table in the middle, like here. This table will be interesting, it's like broken down. Where is it? It's like the opposite end of the window here. I need to build walls, that's for sure. Got it. Uh huh, gotcha. <laughs> I'm looking for a fire exit. <laughs> Picture frame. Then we have some faces. It's not like those are standard shapes of the pieces, so it's not that easy to guess. They begin with the couch already, and it's gonna be that. Hell yeah! Then corner. See, it goes just easier, piece by piece, because you've looked at the shapes already, so... Speed run. The whole four walls finished. Voila. There seems to be like a door. Because here, if you see on the photo, there's something blacked out besides the thing, but we don't really have an angle on it. I mean, maybe here, a small corridor with a door as an entrance. What the hell is this piece? <laughs> oh, okay. Holy hell. <laughs> this table was shattered. Where's the last piece? Here we go. So fun. Very high quality as well. That's oh my god. Alright, well no need to check out other pieces. It's gonna be just harder and harder. I like this. It's like very calming, chill. Pretty much the same idea as cubism, like just relaxing with puzzles and ambient music. It's not like we have some kind of soundtrack going on, but rather just sound effects designed around the actual pieces. Like if we are at the coast, we hear the sea, water, in the billiards room, like people playing. In the stables, I'm assuming there will be horses. It's like chill vibe only. I'm not sure that I have any other points to mention. It's because the concept is simple, you can't really give much criticism to it because what would you expect more from it? The only thing comes to mind is more pieces and maybe this automatic generation thing that I mentioned in the intro, but like besides that I really like this. I like that you have those reference pictures just to help you and guide you where to start with or the layout of the model. Nothing more to say. I wonder what's gonna be the future of this project. Here it's all about creativity and pushing the concept further but it just depends on the imagination because it's not limited by hardware or anything of the sort we'll have to see <laughs>